Hello, welcome to Bucket List Time with Ann and Wayne. Today we're going to venture down to the Elk River Falls, which is in Elk Park, North Carolina, which is not far from Beach Mountain and Banner Elk. So if you're in the area and you got a little time, it's a beautiful waterfall to visit. And uh, we'll put a link down in the description that'll give you GPS coordinates and a map and that sort of thing to find it if you, if you need that. But uh, once you get into Elk Park, uh, you'll turn off onto a side road and it's, there's a sign there. This is the sign that you'll see at the entrance. And it's about four miles or so down to where the waterfall is at. And uh, as you get close to the end of the road, you may feel like you missed it or something, but don't worry about that. When you get when the road turns to a dirt road, you're getting pretty close, and uh, the dirt road will end in the parking area. Now this is a picture of the parking area, and it is a bit limited. And I would advise you if you want to visit on the weekends, uh, particularly in uh, times that there's a lot of traffic in the mountains and stuff, come early in the day because this particular waterfall is real popular with the locals for swimming and fishing and things of that nature. So you may get there and have trouble finding a place to park. So uh, just be aware that uh, parking is limited, but uh, it is a beautiful waterfall to visit. So uh, once we got into the uh, parking area and got parked, we got to looking around and this was the sign that we found. It was the only sign that we found around the parking area that indicated where we were at. And this is really pretty sad. Hopefully since we were there, this has been upgraded and fixed and there's a better sign there. But uh, if you're at the end of the road where it widens out and there's cars parked, you're in the right place. Just park, get out, and walk the trail down that uh, goes along the edge of the river and you'll eventually get to the falls. And it's not all that far. After you get out of your car and start walking down the trail, it, which does run parallel to the river, this is one of the first little rapids that you see, which is a pretty little rapid. And as you can see, the, the river does have a fairly good bit of water. So, uh, you know, when you get to the waterfall, you see a lot of water falling over the falls, which makes it really nice. And as you continue down the trail, uh, this is another little set of rapids that you will see, which is real pretty. And uh, here's another view of those rapids uh, as we were passing on through them. And when you pass this part, you know you're getting close to the waterfall and you'll come upon this sign. Now this sign, I really wish people would spend more time reading and understanding these signs because these waterfalls can be very dangerous. Um, I'm going to read the last part. It says, danger. These falls have claimed over a dozen lives. Be careful when you're around these waterfalls. Any rocks that are wet tend to be very slippery. And if you get in the current of the water, it, it don't take much water and it can knock you off your feet and down you go. And you know, I, I just can't focus enough on being safe around these waterfalls. But they are beautiful and you know, they're, they can safely be enjoyed and that's what we hope that everyone will do. Now as we venture on down just a little bit further past that sign, you'll get to this point. Now this is the top of the waterfall and you'll see the top of it first, but you do get to venture on down below. And uh, you can walk out toward the waterfall. Uh, this is another picture of the waterfall as we were getting a little closer to the top of it. And uh, those rocks, as long as they're dry, you're in good shape. And uh, here's just another picture as we got closer to the waterfall. And this picture, as we, you know, again, we're a little bit closer and you can see a little bit of the view down below the waterfall. And this next picture just shows you a better view of what is below the waterfall. Uh, now this is a picture, this is just a static image of the waterfall. And uh, this was after we went on down past the waterfall, obviously. And we're on some of the rocks down below the waterfall. And we took a short video from there. Now, I'm not going to narrate the video. I'm just going to let you enjoy the video. So that's what's next. And uh, so just enjoy the waterfall.
thank you for visiting Bucket List Time with Ann and Wayne. We really appreciate you joining us as we venture down to the Elk River Falls, which is in uh, Elk Park, North Carolina. And uh, again, we'd just really appreciate it if you'd click like on our video and share it with your friends. And please subscribe to our channel because that helps us grow and bring you more videos of this nature. So uh, thank you for visiting and we hope you enjoy your bucket list time as well.